What's going on, everybody? Welcome back to the Scale News Update. If you're not familiar with the show, this is where we talk about the news topics that happen in the scale world of RC over the past week. If you enjoyed the Scale News Update, hit the like button and let's jump into this week's topics. First for this week, if you're in Canada, you may be affected by a compliance issue that Horizon Hobbies is running into. They sent a list out to some Canadian dealers of a large list of part numbers that are no longer or not currently able to be shipped to Canada. Now this possibly has something to do with compliance issues with small parts and choking hazards with how it's labeled on the packaging, possibly. Hasn't been 100% confirmed. I was able to get a hold of a copy of the email and look through the list of parts that they showed. It was a long list of parts and vehicles from Arma, ECX, and Axial. So, so that may affect some of you with either part support or new vehicle supply with those items, at least until Horizon is able to possibly update whatever it is that's holding them back on the compliance. Now, I can't include that full list of part numbers in the description of this video, but I will We'll put a link to my website where I will paste a copy of all of those part numbers in case you're curious yourself. Then RC four wheel drive, bringing back the Blackwell axles for a limited time or limited supply. Not sure which exactly it is. RC four wheel drive released these end of last week on Friday, I believe. And these are a Rockwell style axle or two and a half ton truck style. If you're familiar with those terms, it's kind of a top loader. So there's a bevel gear set up at the top that transfers the power down to a normal ring gear. These are a cool axle if you're trying to replicate something that originally had Rockwell style axles. Now I remember when these came out the first time back in like 2014 or so. These not the strongest axles, so they don't exactly have the Rockwell beefy heritage behind them, but they get the job done in the looks department. Price isn't too bad on these, about 180 bucks per axle. If you're interested in picking up a set of these, do it as soon as possible because it does appear that these are going to be for a limited time. Also listed on the Arsfield Drive site is the Michelin Mega X Bib 2. 2.6 inch monster truck tires. I don't recall seeing these before. They're listed under new products. I think that these came out the same time that they re-released those Blackwell axles. So for you monster truck guys, if you're looking for another tire option, or you're looking for a specific style, here's one, check out, compare against the other ones that you've been running so far. We had a couple of teasers last week from Proline. First of all, Proline is teasing a new skinny front drag tire. Up to this point, a lot of the front drag tires Proline has have been very similar to regular 2.2 buggy tires, but now they're showing what looks to be a much narrower front tire less drag up front. Not sure if they're going to change the compound and go with something harder or not. We've only seen a single photo so far. There seemed to be quite a bit of interest in the comments of that post that they made. So we'll see what full details come out for these new tires soon. And also teased from Proline this week was what appears to be a 2.2 3.0 Hyrax, this was shown on the laser nut vehicle mounted onto Proline's RAID wheels, and those are 2230 wheels. So having a 2230 version of the very popular 22 and 19 tire, perfect fit for that low seat. Again, we don't have full information on this yet. I assume that we'll see it in the next week or two, as Proline usually doesn't put teasers too far out in advance. Last week, we discussed the new Element Night Runner. That was a project that was a joint between James Knight at Knight Customs and Element. James Knight did the body set for that new vehicle, thus the Knight Runner name. This week, Knight Customs has announced their full line of downloadable 3D printable accessories for that vehicle. He's releasing it in four different bundles. So depending on how in depth you wanna go with 3D printed accessories for that vehicle, you can pick and choose which one is best for you. He's got one that's as simple as just picking up front and rear taillights. He also has a package that's inner fenders that also have mounts for the Axial or Mytrick RC rock light pod. So you can help close up that body and illuminate it at the same time. Then he has a full overland set and this kind of goes nuts with the scale details. It includes a taller rack option for the back so you can use the traction boards that come in the kit. It has an interior base and then a ton of accessories including the inner fenders and light buckets that were sold separately in the first two packs, plus 
a rear bumper rack as well. If you're really trying to scale that truck out, that seems like the pack to get to just really detail out the vehicle. And he has one more as well, which is a little bit more complicated. It takes some significant modification. It modifies the geometry of the IFS to try and get it tucked up so that it looks more appropriate with really small tires. That truck is already a pretty small tire oriented kit. This one makes it even more so, giving you kind of full underbody armor, nice transitions from the front bumper to the IFS, to the skid plate and all around. Definitely check out James's My Mini Factory for all of the details and the different packages, as well as more images of each one of them. And moving right from Element to Associated, Associated released a DR10 complete shock upgrade kit. So if you have the DR10 or the SR10 or one of the other 10s, you can pick up this kit just to kind of upgrade your shocks even a little further. Associated, obviously known for their shock quality. This one just giving you a number of upgrade parts to really class up the shocks that come in those RTR DR10s. This week, EcoPower released a new micro servo for any of you SCX24 or SCX103 or Capra owners. The SCX103 or Capra use this size servo for the dig or two speed setup, and the SCX24 uses it for steering, of course. This is a kind of a stock replacement size or power level. It's fairly low power at under 40 ounce inches at 8.4 volts. So again, this is basically a stock replacement servo, nothing extravagant. Just if you burned one up and you want to replace it just as affordably as possible, then here's an option you can pick up direct from A-Main with their EcoPower line. Now, if you wanted to upgrade a little bit further, they also have the 640T from EcoPower, which is almost double the price, but significantly more power at the same time. But depending on what your needs are, if you feel you need to upgrade the power as well, Check that one out in addition to it. And speaking of SCX 24s, don't forget to go watch the SCX 24 budget build off with Matt from the Scale Builders Guild and myself, where we're taking the Axial SCX 24 and upgrading it with $50 every week. We've got two weeks done already. Week three comes out this Wednesday, tomorrow, if you're watching this as soon as it comes out. So make sure and go check that out. Really starting to crank up some upgrades now, make those things look far less factory. Next item for this week to discuss I'm always watching on social media when new companies pop up and start following or posting or whatever it is. I always keep an eye out just to see a new name that pops up, seeing exactly kind of what their path in the market is. And I noticed one pop up over the last couple of weeks called Friction RC, which is an interesting name choice. Friction seems to be kind of your enemy in a lot of things, but while taking a look at their website, I noticed that their products looked pretty familiar, which isn't necessarily uncommon. Lots of times people will OEM a product from whatever overseas manufacturer and post it as their own, but this wasn't the case. It looked specifically familiar for another reason. And while looking at some of the images, the build style that was used in them also looked familiar to me. So I had a bit of an idea. At the very bottom of the web page is a little about section that says, American owned and American designed. You know who we are, but we're not telling. So that just meant that I had to confirm it. So while digging a little deeper on the website, I went to the terms of service page and it looks like they copied their own terms of service, did a find and replace on all of the names, but they missed one. In the very last paragraph of the page, they missed a reference to PBX, also known as Pitbull tires. The shocks that they were showing looked very similar to the Pitbull shocks which is what initially made me take a look at it. And then they also had an LED kind of whip, like for the sand dunes. And it said that it was patented. I looked up the patent number, goes to the owner of Pitbull Tires as well. So it all made sense. I don't know why they're trying to hide it from you, or if they are, I don't know why they're trying to play a game and say, we're not telling you that. That just makes it fun. So now I guess there's another way to get some Pitbull-esque products from a different name. I'll link to the website so you can go check it out yourself. And for any of you in the Northern California area, the ASD Autism Awareness Crawl is this weekend near Patterson, California at the Frank Rains Off-Road Park. So hopefully I get to see some of you guys up there. Looking forward to going and hanging out. And it appears that we're going to get a small break from the intense heat that we've been having. That event has been historically hot, but be great to have a slightly cooler year. If you're gonna make it, hopefully we get to say hello. But that's gonna do it for the news topics for this week. 
for this week's question. What would you do if you ordered yourself a 30,000 milliamp hour battery? What could you possibly put this in? Bonus points for wrong answers. But that's gonna do it for this week's Scale News Update. As always, I appreciate you guys watching. Hit the like button if you enjoy these videos. Subscribe if you're not already. Hit the notification bell so you see the videos as soon as they get uploaded. Thanks again for watching and we'll see you on the next one.